Okay, so continuing from the previous um, tutorial, what I'm going to do with these, um, I'm going to select that and that. Make sure you select the center part of it as well and the base. So we've got the whole wheel. There you go. I'll just check we've got the whole wheel here. Good. Create extrusion. Now the, wheel, the minimum wheel thickness is 15, so I'm just going to take my little bit further out. We'll go 15, no we'll keep it 15, that's good. So I select that, well, that's good. Um, what I can also do is mirror, create mirror. That face there, click OK. There you go. Well, I've done just mirrored that on the central work plane, so you've got four wheels. Okay, now that's just for a modeling purpose. And now you can see from above, we've got the 15 millimeter gap here, look 5, 10, 15, 16, so that will pass critical regulations. Um, all wheels are visible from the top, that's another critical um, regulation. Now, the next bit is putting on um, a front aerofoil. <coughs> Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, we've got to get this height of um, 50 millimeter maximum, as I explained before. So go back down to here, um, and what I'm going to do is select. Just stop sketch a minute. Go back to my isometric view. Select this surface here, and we're going to build um, the front aerofoil on this surface. So if I sketch line, there it is. Okay. So looking at our rules and regulations, I draw a reference line here, which is 13 plus 5, which is your allowance between the aerofoil and the front wheel. That has to be 18, right? So if I set that directly to 18, I also know that the height is 15 from the ground. So that's 10 plus 3, 13. So that's my safety zone. I know that if I go within that, I'm going to be okay. Now I know... I'm going to draw my um, ellipse, I'm going to take it across here to about there, to that point. I can alter the angle and they are, I, can, I can play around with these values and get them exactly right. But I know if I take it to that point there just for demonstration purposes, 18 is fine and I set that to 3. Enter, sorry, three, enter, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got my five millimeter gap there. What I have to do is trim my reference line. I don't need that anymore. That was just making sure that I, don't, I meet the critical rule. Okay, so the next thing is to create an extrusion. You know that I'm selecting this one. And the minimum is 20. It's always going to be 20. Okay. I click OK with that. What I'd like to do as well, to rather make it on the other side, I just select both surfaces and I create a mirror and the mirror plane, just do the same again, just go for the central um, reference plane and I click OK and hopefully that should put the front aerofoil on there. That's good. Really happy with that. Now comes the tether line guide. Now with this one, I'm going to um, sketch a. I'm going to sketch a line again. So I'm going to go to the centre. I know that that needs to be six high, um, and I'm going to create a rectangle. You can see I've created that twenty. So I sketch a line to it again. 20 okay I'm just going to trim some of these because I think as I was they are they are let's make sure that's correct sketch a line from here through to here I click OK and what I'm going to do is create an extrusion so I want this to be cut out um, 
cut all the way through let's see how that works out there they are. that's nice so you can see now I've got my cut out I'm very happy with that good so the car is starting to take shape I can also put side pause and cut that section out so I can do the same again I can select select this um, sketch a um, curve I go for a curve and I'm going to pick a point round about here and here just blend it out a bit press enter okay and I'm just gonna finish it off with a vertical line there um, a vertical line there this is the easy part now the hardest bit is making so that making sure that you meet all of the other dimensions so this went off there there you go okay so let's just go back into that face there create extrusion if you go back here let's cancel that if I go back in there edit sketch so if I click on that edit feature I can create mirror and the mirror plane is here again okay and it'll remove that surface there so you've got the same profile okay that's good that's okay you can see now the car is taking shape um, you can spend more time uh, filleting the edges so I can do the same again modify fillet you may want to take this edge uh, this leading edge here okay you may want to take that bit off that bit off and just make sure you zoom in you can see and let's go for three millimeter keep it standard all right good probably want to do the same uh, to this edge here as well so modify fill it let's see if we can do this edge shift shift three there we go so you've got the airflow uh, hitting that edge going over the car but you can spend a lot of time um, making modifications but at least we've got a car that looks um, looks fine there is a, a tether line um, guide you can incorporate into the nose cone here um, that's something else I'll look on another tutorial but at least now you've got a car that is fine although I can see here if I look between here now I know that on the old rules that was 26 wasn't it so two millimeter gap here two millimeter gap here which is 30 I think I'm gonna have to go back and modify that to meet the critical rules but at least now you've got a car um, that's sort of there for a world final you can either use the screw in eyelets or bring in your own 3d printed ones um, into the into the actual um, car that we've got here uh, let's just see if I can click OK with that I may want to just put uh, a fillet on here I mean every time I build these they're always slightly different and when you're under pressure um, see if that works there yeah, that'll do when you're under pressure to produce these it does um, take time but it at least we've got something uh, that's fine but that's a critical rule there that needs to be looked at the wheel system um, I'll do that separately but if I wanted to um, render this I'll just take it into a quick render uh, there you go uh, I'll look at the appearance this is just something additional just to help so in the library 
I can choose plastic. I'll just go opaque. And for this one, I'll just make this one red. So the whole car is red. I quite like the way that's come out. I click OK, so that's the whole body. Then what I can also do, faces, if I wanted, um, say I wanted white wheels, one, white, two, white, three, four, I'm going to take that around like so. go five six seven and eight done close there you have it you have a car that's been manufactured sorry designed on here and that's ready for manufacture but at least now you've got um, um, a half decent car good Okay, if I wanted to bring in a decal, I'll just do this quickly. I click on decal, I select the surface, which is this one here. Um, so I select my image from my removable disk, which is here, 2017 car, final. I'll bring that in here like this. There, there's my F1 and schools logo. I can bring that down to there like that. Whoop. Drop it over here. Remember that's going to be 15 by 30 if I remember rightly. Now, good. Happy with that. Okay, and what I would do is just do the same to the other side. Rotate that round. This is very easy, but again, bring in the decal. Select the same logo, open, there it is again, open that out, drag that way I want it. I mean you can set the exact um, height, but I'm just doing this as a visual. Go back into the isometric view, I might just turn it around that way. Uh -huh. There we go. Now, once I've got that done, if I go for the in canvas render, there we go, just leave that a couple of seconds. There you go. And yeah, it's looking okay now. Now you've got yourself a car. Now, <coughs> I'm not going to do it now, but I would have tidied up this nose cone here, made that more sort of aerodynamic. Um, I don't like that. But at least you can see how simple it is to produce a car. Now from that render you can take um, screenshots, you can incorporate it into folder work, uh, but from your point of view as a learning curve um, that's great. The wheels, both all four wheels, I've removed those and I'll give you a separate uh, tutorial on the wheel system, right, which would then, um, I'll just give you a, a look at it here, you can see um, how the wheels are 3D printed. Um, I'd go into more detail how we, uh, where to buy your bearings from, how to fit them onto the axle, how to 3D print the wheels, wheel covers so the wheels don't come off. Um, and you know you can see on this uh, video here, uh, just very very quickly, the uh, wheel just presses on top of the bearing. It's a nice fit, and the cap cover just press it on top like that and you're good to go all right but if you look on this video just quickly just here you can see um, basically here you'd have a, a 3.2 millimeter hole 3.2 uh, diameter bearing make sure that you understand the limit and fits and how that fits onto there and the cap cover if that's a three millimeter diameter or 3.2 diameter you've got to make sure that the the fit is perfect. Good, and I think that's us done. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much.